Hello, hello, hello. You're listening to Marketing Cruise Podcast, the show that brings you everything you need to know about digital marketing. And we are your hosts, Jimar Merino. And I'm Carissa Coles. And welcome to our show. Welcome to a new episode of Marketing Cruise Podcast. I'm your host, Jimar Merino, and I'm feeling good today. What about you, Miss Carissa? I am. I am feeling good too, Jim. That's so good. far, so good. Right. And we are very excited for this episode because we have a guest. Yes. We have a very special guest that will be joining us and talk about crafting the most effective engagement posts on social media. Okay, so without any delay, delay, let's introduce our guest. Now, our guest for this episode is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, major in Marketing Management, my batchmate at Tarlac State University, a former Marketing Associate of La Maha Group, and a freelance digital marketing strategies. So everyone, let's give a warm welcome to Clarissa May Isidro. Woo! Woo! Hi! Hello! Hello. Hello. Should we call nice you May? May, call me May. May, all right. Kumusta ka na? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. I am feeling good, uh, very happy, and really excited to be here. Alam ko kasi marami akong matututunan sa aking batchmate together with his partner, of course. <laughs> yeah. Our, our, our MP. <laughs> ano ba? <laughs> Small thing. All right. Yeah. We're very excited to have you here kasi ngayon lang kami magkakaroon ng guest na outside of our team. You know, Ooh, so talaga? We're very honored. So, first ba to? Yes. Yeah, you're our first guest outside of wow. the team. Wow. And I guess what? Really you're the first person that popped into my head na invite. Mm. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so touch. Kasi yeah. alam mo, syempre since you were, you were, ma, you were our uh, first yata, no? First RMP sa batch. Or... Uh, along with another classmate. Yeah, along with another classmate. And I think with the professor then. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I very much look up to you when it comes to this thing. Especially wow. I know uh, stories from uh, your humble beginnings. Yeah. <laughs> 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 of course. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank Uh-oh. you so much. Thank you. And I have a very uh, fond memory of you din kasi no? Do you remember back in the advertising congress, yung awarding night, dun sa radio category, we both went to the stage kasi nanalo tayo nung first and second place. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so, Pakilang mo kami nun. Second kami nun, no? Second kami. Second, tapos kami yung first. Oh, uh-huh. I remember that. Kasi <laughs> yeah, I remember that. that and I enjoyed doing that. Alam mo, yun lang yung ano, yun lang yun yung pinakalaalala ko, yung pinakaambag ko. <laughs> Yeah, I remember doing that the radio ad. It was fun. Mm-mm. And actually, that event was the wake-up call for me to pursue this after graduation. Wow. So that's the beginning. That's the story of our beginning. Now, today, kasi we're going to talk about crafting the most effective engagement posts on social media. And mm-hmm. dito natin yeah. malalaman kung gaano ba tayo nagiging uto-uto pagdating sa mga nakikita natin <laughs> online. Hindi Uh-oh. ba? So, kung baga. Oo, nabubudol tayo ng mga nakikita natin. So, para sa inyo, what is an engagement post ba? What does uh, a post have to uh, have to have para masabi natin it's an engagement post? And ano ba yung mga metrics that we should look out for so we can measure how effective the engagement post is? So, let's ask our expert mo na, Ms. Carissa. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, Well, seeing what other brands are doing and other businesses, for me, an engagement post or an engaging post, it always depends doon sa, uh, sa taong tumitingin. It can be engaging to you, but not me. Hindi para siya sa akin engaging. So, um, number one, it should stand out because we are in a social media not to not to buy product initially, di ba? We are there to be entertained. And yun yung pinaka-purpose ng engagement post. Make sure na you entertain or you educate them. So make sure na nag-i-stand out siya uh, 
when it scrolls sa mga newsfeed ng mga users. So that's the definition for me. All right, thank you. Now jumping on to our guest, May, what do you think? What is an for engagement me, post for you? For me, an engagement post naman is um, a post wherein you could see a good graphic and at the same time, yung may may eye-catching na colors and at the same time, of course, yung mga words na nandoon, is it something na very relevant? Ganun, kasi may mga brands na gumagamit ng ganun. But all in all, I think the first thing that makes me engage in a post is how good the graphics is. Okay. All right, thank you. And from, from my point of view naman, an engagement post is something that personifies a brand. It makes the brand look more human kasi you get to engage with mm-hmm. it, di ba? And minsan sumasagot pa sa'yo, nagre-reply back sa comment. Next is, of course, it sparks a conversation. Kahit anong post pa yan, if it sparked a conversation in the comment section, that's already an engagement. And of course, the chance for virality. The more na, the more people that talks about or discuss kung ano yun nandun sa post, the more it gets shared from anywhere in any platform. And yung word na lagi kong hinahanap pag engagement post is the prompt. P-R-O-M-P-T. Does it prompt you to comment or respond or engage with the post? So yun lang na lagi hinahanap ko. That's, that's also one of my uh, the qualities na hinahanap ko when I QA the SOCMED post na ginagawa ng team, does it prompt me to answer kung ano yung hinahanap nila? So, that's one. So, moving on, what is your favorite type of engagements ba? Kasi marami tayo nakikita online from different brands, but what specifically ba yung mga lagi yung ini-engage? So, what are your favorites, uh, Miss Carissa? Mm. Well, uh, kasi hindi naman ako uh, I'm a boring person. <laughs> Hindi ako mahilig sa like sa mga um, memes, mga SB19, yung mga ganyan. So ako, um, lagi social media, lagi yung tinitingnan ko. Yun yung I always engage to that, to that post. Tsaka sa mga brands na pinafollow ko or yung mga interest ako na niche or topics. So number one, I always engage kapag may question. Kasi sabi mo nga prompt, it prompt me to answer. And Kapag may question, syempre agad pa rin yung yung adrenaline rush, 'di ba? Uy, tanong, sagot. Ganoon na agad yung nasa mindset ng tao. So, yun number one, I always engage to that post kapag ang question relevant sa akin. Number two, kapag ka maganda yung graphics. Yun yung nung naaamaze ako sa execution na hindi ko maiisip na ay pwede pala yun. Pero I don't I don't comment I just like and share kasi if they don't ask you naman to comment or sh- or or yun magtag I don't do that I just like and share. So very selective ako sa mga ina-engage engage ko. So usually yung mga questions na yon sa groups ko nakikita. I don't yun kasi naglalabas sa scroll, sa news feed ko yung mga groups. Doon yun doon ako naka-join. I don't uh, follow usually yung mga brands unless talaga, uh, titignan ko sila because of work-related. So, pangalawa, uh, sa IG, yon ma-engage ako kasi halos lumalabas sa, sa feed ko is related sa social media and na doon, pinapakita, pinapakita din na yung mga nagawa nilang mga case study, sample works, and mga ads. yon yung mata ko talaga, kapag sa ads yan, talagang napapansin ko, syempre yun yung lagi natin ginagawa everyday, no? So, I have to be on the lookout ng mga ano yung ibang execution ngayon ng mga ads? So, questions and kapag ka maganda yung graphic. Questions or polls. Alright. Um, for me naman, lagi ko tinitingnan ko ano yung mga questions na tinatanong. Kasi minsan, we have brands na talaga nagtatanong ng questions directly, di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang, what what are your thoughts on this? What do you think of the ganyan? Di ba? Lagi sila mm-hmm. nagtatanong. And then, andun. Ang dami mag-aaway sa comment section, which is the point. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yun yung goal nila, di ba? To spark a conversation. Kahit ano pa, man, sa, saan mapunta yun, kahit pag-personalan sila sa comments, basta they just want to ask your opinion and you will share your opinion. Next is the polls, yung they get to vote. But unfortunately, si Facebook, ni-remove niya yung ganong feature, which is yung nakakapag-vote ka. So mm-hmm. instead of a page or a person, ang makakapag-voting ka na lang is if you are part of a group, di ba, a Facebook group, 
in a community and then sometimes they ask um, vote for your favorite characters then may magbibigay sila ng options then doon mo makikita yung mga nagbo-vote so doon na lang siya kasi parang parang doon daw nila nakikita yung direction of the polls more in the groups not in the business pages next is yung mga gifs i'm so fan of those kasi yung mga stop the gif yung mga find the the missing yeah. ganyan, di ba? It, it, okay. it prompts you to to ano to participate kasi may nangyayari sa screen mo. And then lastly are the contests. Of course, ano pa ba yung mga mother of all engagements kung hindi mga online contest? So it's either magla-like ka lang, may chance ka ng manalo. Mag-comment ka lang, may chance ka ng manalo. And it gives a, a persuasive uh, kick dun sa mga nagko-comment kasi hello, magko-comment ka lang, mananalo ka na ng ganitong item, di ba? So, it, it really prompts them to engage. Well, I feel like nasabi ko na lahat, but I think meron ka pa ba siya share, May? So, what are your favorite types of engagements? Ako naman, personally, I like polls, especially sa Instagram. Sa Instagram, hmm. kasi even, even my personal account is on a professional business account. So, I see the metrics as well. And yeah. I... I'm really happy kapag yung mga viewers natin is they they engage with the with the with the poll that you are creating. And aside from that, alam mo yun, even if personal lang na ano, I'm just checking yung interest nila. And then in the middle of the poll, I would put something to promote para madaanan nila. And then proceed to the next story, which is another poll. Yeah. And they 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 engage more. And at the same time, you use the opportunity to to share a brand or whatever it is that you want to share. And mm-hmm. at the same time, gusto gusto ko rin, ever since I became a social media manager, yung mga call to actions, nauto ako na mag- <laughs> 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 yeah, yung mga comment, so comment like this and like that. You know, call to actions. Since I became a social media manager, I think it's, yung nafe-feel ko lang kasi pag ganun, I'm, uh, the one that's managing that page for sure is looking for engagement. So I want to engage in this too. You know? But mostly naman na dumadaan sa akin, sa akin social medias are the brands that I am that I am supporting are the brands that I am into. You know, the algorithm. You know? And then gusto ko rin yung mga react yung mga react options. Ano yun? Yung react if you want this. Like, yeah. love if you want this. Mga ganun, yan. I engage with that as well. All right. So those are so, my favorites. Okay. So speaking of CTA, you know, CTA or call to actions are actually part of the engage, total engagement post. No? Mm-hmm. But what does really make an engagement post? So we're going to dissect it one by one and let me know if you agree with me or not or by additional yeah. you know. But for me, because when we, you know, we dissect it, you know, we dissect an uh, engagement post, of course, it, it usually has two elements the graphics and the content or the words or the copy that inside the graphics next is how do we uh, set them apart ba so sa copy we have uh, three parts the headline the body and the call to action so the headline ito yung opportunity mo to call out your specific target or the fans or just grab their attention kasi you know people on social media have short attention span mabore yeah. lang sila sa yo in just a few seconds, scroll past ka na. Diba? So, on that first sentence, kailangan nakuha mo na attention nila. Then, the body is going to be the most persuasive part of the uh, of the copy or the engagement. Kasi, doon mo malalaman, ano ba yung meron dito? Or, what's in it for me? When you read it. Diba? Then, lastly, the CTA or sometimes the mechanics. Like, what should we do? What should I do para, alam mo yun, account as engagement. So, that's for the word. Now, sa image, of course, it has a lot of elements. And parang same lang din siya sa components of a copy. Meron kang headline, meron kang body, meron kang CTA. And it really comes to the design, the colors na ginamit, kung ano yung mga nagpa-pop out doon na elements. Yeah, so Hello, basically, I, I think that's it. Eh? I want to share something lang. I want to share okay. something. One time, I saw um, a brand. I saw Greenwich, to be specific. Okay. Mm-hmm. I saw them post um, an ad. And surprisingly, it's a green it's a, you know, the brand colors, alam mo yung green, alam mo yung black background. You yeah. know, they use that. They use that. And then one time, um, natuwa ako kasi, 
it caught my attention. I thought I thought it was TikTok. Kasi yung font na ginamit nila is it's the glitch effect na yung color ng TikTok. So uh-huh. when people um I think Greenwich knowing that uh TikTok is now a very huge thing when it comes to social media, diba? They they use that font uh para when people scroll, they they're going to think it's TikTok. Or it's Greenwich. And then, the, ano, ho, kasi, oh, it caught my attention. I think they did this. Kasi, they did this because, you know, TikTok is a huge thing right now. And it's effective because I thought it was TikTok. That was it. Kinlik ko yung, ano, kinlik ko yung Greenwich. And then, nakita ko, they're very consistent with their, you know, with their brand colors. Pero yun, they really use the TikTok font and the colors. So, very smart, no? Very smart yung graphic na yun. And I wouldn't, for, I wouldn't forget it. Talaga. And I remember, right. I remember our advertising subject back in college. It reminds me so much of, um, of how, how our professor before, our instructor before, uh, told us na, ano, yung graphics. Alam mo yun, yung when they put up an ad for food, paano siya madadivert into sales? You have to create a you have to create something that would trigger that person to buy it. And mm. that's the pizza, the pizza na, ano, na. Parang you, you're, if you stop on it, you're gonna see a pizza, you're gonna crave for it. You're gonna order. Parang good it siya. Mm-hmm. And I, it's, it's nice that, um, uh, social media managers and the ones behind the digital marketers are creating such creative posts that would, you know, make people click their, their ads. You know. Correct, no man, John. No. And I also remember Greenwich releasing a series of ads. If you remember, na if you go to YouTube, meron silang mga five-seconder ads. Tapos, it's parang a storyline, pero hiwa-hiwalay siya. Parang distributed sila. Na merong story na nagkain laban yung dalawang crew. Then oh, yeah. they get married. Then nagka-anak. Then nag-graduate yung, yung mga kids sila. So it was consistent. Tapos, Parang super targeted kasi yun eh. Na if you watch this ad, yung next na mapapanood mo is the part 2. And if you watch part 2, part 3 yung, yung lalabas sa'yo, di ba? So ganun sila ka-consistent. Ganun sila kagaling. So actually, good job dun kay Greenwich. And ayun, um, following up on the anatomy nga of the engagement post, of course, magdadepende din yun kung ano nga ba yung results na hihintayin natin at the end of the campaign or at the end of the ads range. Kung ano ba yung mga metrics So, Ms. Carissa, ano ba yung mga metrics typically na hinahanap natin sa isang engagement post? Hmm. With, particularly on Facebook post, no? Um, if, if siyempre, if admin ka ng isang page, under each post, meron kang makikitang reach. Tapos meron kang makikitang distribution, something doon. So ako, every daily, chinecheck ko yung reach. So, may mga, may mga clients kasi tayo na, okay, they, they have to target 2,000 reach per post. So, kung yun na yung benchmark mo, so yun yung magiging target mo. Or, at least man lang, doon sa distribution na uh, metric, positive. May positive doon eh. May ilang percentage yung taas nung distribution, yung reach, yung mga nakakita. So, yun yung mga titin ako. Once green yon, I'm happy. Kasi nag-bump siya. And also, doon sa gilid, sa insights, di ba, when you open the page, tapos sa gilid, meron kang last seven days, last 28 days, mga ganun. Um, yun din, uh, may mga metrics din yun. Kapag ka nakita ko na green, may increase, masaya. Pero kapag ka mababa, syempre, sad ka na konti. But, but you will understand, may ginawa ba akong something, meron ba akong ginawang um, action or engagement post or did we increase our our likes ganon so depende w- hindi ka mag-expect na tataas yung mga yon kung wala ka namang ginawang kakaiba or ni launch or pinos na sa tingin mo people will love about it so yun 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 yung nakikita ng reach and the distribution yung increase ng percentage okay so actually kasi when i do the monthly report so i always check then the insights no of facebook kung paano nag-perform lahat ng pinost namin for the month. And a lot of digital marketers or social media managers uh, don't know this really, pero you can also see the negative engagements on the insights. So aside from the organic reach, okay, yung people na nakakita, the engagements or the comments, the shares, kung ilang beses silang nag-share or nag-comment on the post, may kita mo din doon kung sino yung mga nag-unfollow, 
kung sino yung nag-hide ng post kasi may option na ganun ba? Hide all posts from this page. O kaya yung forever na ibaban na yung page mo from their profile. So pag may nakikita ako ganun, kahit isa lang, magtataka ako, ay bakit? Bakit bakit niya ako binan? Or bakit ayaw niya nang makita yung mga future postings from me? So doon talaga namin i-figure out yun. Bakit ganun? And we will do less of that and do more doon sa mga naka-achieve ng zero negative engagement. So that's something that you should look out for. How about you? May ano ba yung mga metrics na tinitingnan mo as a social media manager? Ako, of course, hindi na mawawala ngayon yung insights nga from um, um, business business ano, business ano page ng Facebook. And um, ako, natutuwa din ako kapag green na yan, especially if organic. Alam mo, malaking bagay yun if organic and then green siya, di ba? Nakakatawa that it's it's uh, reaching people without you spending a dime. Ganun. And isa rin sa mga... Mahalaga for me since I manage, I manage some Instagram Instagram accounts too for clients. Yung how special yung insights din, insights feature din nila. Even sa stories, even sa stories, you would uh, you would see how many people stop, how many people, you know, just exited or forwarded the story. And I also love to see there yung ano yung yung how many impressions you create. Uh, with the post and kung ilang babae at lalaki yun, ilang babae at lalaki yung eh, yung ano yung nag-follow sa iyo I use I utilize yung tools na binibigay nila and it's 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 nice that it's free you know you don't have to pay for it they have the special ano special um what they call special feature mm-hmm. for you to be able to measure if your post is effective kung people are engaging or actually hindi ko lang nakita na ano yung sa ano yung yung mabab- yung ibo pag i-build na ka ganun hindi ko lang alam yun sa iyo yan oh there are lots of secret features na we can explore kasi mm-hmm. as ano uh, as the platform updates din kasi their their features lahat naman yung nagpapa yeah so that's that for the anatomy i guess we got it Okay, so as social media managers, ha, tayong nandito sa room, how many engagement posts should we publish ba every week or every month? Sige, magbigay tayo ng mga numbers natin. Ha. Starting off with Carissa. Hmm. Well, it depends. <laughs> Wala na ako. Okay. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer kung how many. Uh, kasi... If, for example, if the post got viral, di ba? Or ang dami engagement. It will last kasi. I mean, hindi siya naman siya isang araw, tapos na siya. Uh, pwede pa rin siyang how many days, meron pa rin nage-engage dahil dun sa mga shares. So, but, of course, um, a, social, uh, a brand or a business should a lot. If you, feel, if you are just starting out, bago pa lang, konti pa lang yung likes mo, no? Uh, sabi natin, less than 1,000. So, try, test ka. Try mo twice a week. If nagustuhan, if talaga nag-engage, damihan mo. If, if hindi, kasi depende pa rin yan sa niche mo eh, sa industry. May mga, may mga like on our page, I, we thought sa iba kasi, okay yung meme. But when we tried it on our page, um, hindi wala masyadong nag-engage. Kasi nga, dahil konti pa lang yung followers namin and hindi targeted. So, hindi talaga interesado sa mga digital marketing yung followers. So, talaga din nila mag-get si yung mga pinapost namin. So, mm-hmm. number one, yun, it depends. There's no right or wrong. There's no specific. Ilan ba dapat? But, as a social media manager, always back on the data. If the data says gusto nila na engagement post and you're getting likes, engagements or shares from your engagement post, do more of that. Uh, minimum to a week if kaya because there are resources diba, that you need to consider. Uh, yun, minimum yon. If you are a big brand, uh, kung marami ka ng likes, shares, hindi mo naman kailangan everyday magpapol, magpaganon. Um, kasi malaki na eh, so it's your chance to sell. ba? Diba? Uh, and since malaki na yung following mo, kahit one engagement post lang yan in a week, dahil it lasts because of the shares and accumulate mo, 
it's it's fine na hindi ganun kadami if malaking following ka na. All right. Well, I agree naman doon, no? And it really depends on first the scope. Ko <laughs> hanggang saan ba yung ma-reach talaga or yung work ng isang client or ng isang brand. But for me, uh, as I create campaigns no every month for our clients, ang lagi ko sinasabi, 40% of the total content should be engagement. And the rest is trying to follow up, no, to close a sale or to position your brand into their minds. Diba? Para maalala ka talaga nila. Alam ko ito yung nag-post yung ganun eh. Yung ganong, ano, ganong cognitive na um, remark sa inyo, hindi ba? But for me, twice a week is enough. So I agree with that. Twice a week is enough. And kung meron naman kayong monthly scope, I think 40% of the total number of posts should be about um, directing to engaging. Diba? Pero mm-hmm. that's how we work sa Emerge kasi. Eh. How about ba sa you, May, as a social media manager as well? How do you determine uh, that? Ako naman, uh, sa mga minamanage ko, sometimes I go three to four. Uh, three to four in a week. In a week. Mm-hmm. Um, some yung mga ibang days naman I use it to educate the people more about the brand. So, um, I think uh, since yung mga uh, ano ba yung mga hinahawakan kong uh, pages, uh, iba-iba eh. Merong ano, merong merong konti pa lang yung likes and meron yung uh, 40,000 plus, meron malaking following sa Instagram, meron din mababa. I try to explore pa. I try to explore working with different brands and I find joy in uh, in seeing how how engagement posts work. So for me, um, sa mga nagsisimulang brand pa lang, I try to be more engaging as possible kasi in an average, I think um, one of on one of the videos I I watched before regarding social media, 7 to 14 uh, times uh Uh, an audience would look at your would look at your post they're gonna remember you na. and mm. it's it's gonna be a huge thing if you convert that one to sales and right now really trying to be as engaging as possible so um tignan natin marami pa tayong may explorers tayo by being a social media manager since it's uh, social media management is um, is fast moving talaga So you you need to be adaptive with how your audience reacts. Yeah, totally agree because social media is a fast-paced platform for us digital yeah. marketers na kung hindi ka makasabay, may iwan at may iwan ka. Mm-hmm. Correct naman yun, di ba? Alright, so can we cite some favorite brands of ours na when you see their post talaga nag engage ka, it's either nag-like ka, should share mo, or nag-comment ka when they prompt you to. So let's give examples siguro. Um, I'll go first. First, I always look for customer-centric brands. Yun talagang they look out for the audience, may specific group of audience na tinatawag or may tinatarget talaga. So, isa na doon yung Netflix. Kasi they they really target their ads depende doon sa mga, ano ba yung mga type of viewers, di ba? Merong mga puro Korean dramas, merong mga anime watchers, and then there's me, puro US dramas or series. So, kapag yun yung pinupost nila, You know, when it's an engagement, may call, may questions, or just a teaser of an unco- upcoming season, talaga na engage ako to, ano, to share. Kasi I will also like to share na, oy, may bagong season na darating ang Lucifer on September. Yung mga ganong types of uh, engagement. Next is yung mga sa local naman, I can say Pure Gold. Um, some from Gen- Genra Grand Mall and Jumbo Genra, they prompt me also. And a little community here in Metro Clark, which is Metro Clark Guide. Na I think mayroon silang viral post last week kung saan they clinched into the Kapampangan language. You know, when they ask the audience, how do you say excuse me in Kapampangan? Girl, nagbardagulan sila sa comment section. <laughs> Kaya tumagtuwa doon yung mga admins siguro doon because it was a very successful post. Organically, nagkaroon ng 5,000 shares in just one night. Wow. So, I think that was a success for them. And... Um, another one is from the Drag Race or RuPaul's Drag Race because I'm such a fan of the show. Lagi ako nang target and because super engaging ng mga audience at sobrang dra- daming viewers ng show na yon. nagkaroon na tayo ng sarili nating franchise. So mm-hmm. last week, di ba, nagkaroon ng announcement or casting call for Drag Race Philippines which wow. is a huge news. For, who's, the, uh, as, who's the host? 
to be announced pa, pero everyone is um, clinching on Manila Luzon ah. from season 3. It's based in the US. Yeah, so, pa, pero mas nag, kami, nags, mas nagsasot kami for local, like Paolo Balesteros. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Paolo Balesteros. Yeah. Pwede. So, those are the brands for me na lagi kong ina-engage when I see them online. Kasi frequent din sila mag-post eh. Kung hindi every day, every other day, may nakita akong bagong post sa kanila. And especially on Netflix, no, if it's about a show talaga na hinihintay ko, talagang bibisitahin ko yung page nila and see kung ano pa yung mga ibang post about it na talagang pinopost nila. And I will share it endlessly on my Facebook account if you check it. Puro mga shared posts about Netflix and their upcoming shows. So, what about you guys? May? Ako, I personally love um, Orokan. Have you seen how they work? <laughs> yeah. Very, ano, ano. Talagang mapapa-engage ka, mapapa-comment ka on how they create their, ano, their graphics. Nakakatuwa. <laughs> Wala. Pag nata- I remember yung last nila, yung sa, ano, yung sa, yung Olympics. pay high day in when she yeah. won. Second, mm-hmm. pag na tayong mag-plastic ka, <laughs> last day at night. <laughs> and, then, and then what's funny is I I scrolled into the comment section. Tapos yeah, someone uh someone posted a comment uh um they the social media managers must have an increase for this. And then and then um the people from from Oracan replied. Parang parang I don't I don't remember how they replied. Pero parang shout I don't parang shout out sa boss. <laughs> <laughs> they were engaging that time. They were very oh. engaging that time. And since they took the opportunity, people are commenting. So they got to respond. And another one, I love how Grab, um, how, how Grab, you know, create engagement posts as well. Grab. Mm-hmm. They're active. They post, uh, they post, they consistently post uh, promotions. And they post according to what's happening currently. And another one, si Dane's. Dane's yung cheese. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh-oh. Very creative then. Very creative then. And engaging your post. To the point that they also created, alam mo yung frame? Frame for, ano, for Facebook account. Yung, yeah. yung sa profile picture mo, they created a, a frame na may dalawang mayor. <laughs> so, yeah, and people were just laughing at it. You're like, who would you say? <laughs> yeah, some of the brands that I really love. I agree as well. Um, how about you, Miss Cars? Uh, hindi ako mapag-follow ng brands kasi very, very random lang. Basta nag-appear sila. Pero yung talagang binibisit ako daily, especially pag may mga um, trending or may holidays, yung Pure Gold and Potato Corner. Sa Potato Corner, natutuwa ako kasi very creative din yung execution. Yung yung paano nila i-incorporate yung product doon sa sa holiday or sa uh, trending magaling uh, yung pag-execute nila so um local of course yung mga clients namin even even my team create that those yung mga posts i still check pero i don't i don't check kasi so magugulat na lang ako wow gawa naman namin to ganun so yun din pina-follow ko din natutuwa ako sa mga kinikreate namin na mga post for clients. Um, I, I follow Food Panda kasi nagagandahan ako sa graphics din nila, yung, yung colors. ba diba pink? Super girly. Pero na, uh, na mamanipulate nila. Kahit pink siya, yung color brand colors niya, still applicable siya sa lahat. Mapababae ka o mapalalaki. So, yun yung mga pina-follow ko. Grab din, uh, yung the way they promote, yun, the way they sell, nakaka-amaze din yung execution nila. Um, yun yung kinagandahan kapag mga large followings, no, based doon sa mga sinabi nyo. Kasi kapag ka big brands ka na, you get to experiment. Yun yung ganda sa mga big brands, sa mga hindi afraid mag-experiment. Yeah. Hindi kasi sila takot eh na eto ba ano sa masasabi ng mga tao kasi malaki na yung following nila and yun yung target talaga na talaga nila mag-engage so ho- hopefully brands even or businesses na even maliit pa lang yung following oh, 
Kasi yung mga clients are very strict sa branding eh. So, sana yung ganun yung maging mindset nila na hindi sila hindi sila ma-box doon lang sa kung ano yung na-try nila before, kung ano yung usual, yung maging bold sila in terms of execution. Like sinabi mo yun, Dains, may mayonnaise, di ba? Hello? <laughs> Competitor nila yun, pero hindi sila takot na ipakita kasi baka, baka ayun, maging competitor sila, ay maging followers sila. Mm-hmm. Yung na-competitor, maging loyal sila doon dahil pinakita natin. No, they're not afraid kasi people are smart. Matalino yung mm-hmm. mga tao ngayon na sa social media. They know if it's just uh, an entertainment. They know if it's like yung doon sa Orokan. No, entertainment lang yun pero grabe yung words nila, di ba? Yung parang isipin mo <laughs> if yung core value nyo as a business, we don't speak like that. Pero sa kanila ginawa nila. Kasi bold yeah. enough sila eh. So, yeah. Even yeah, yung billboard nila, yung billboard nila if you were able to see it, um, parang the, the subject or the model, di talaga siya kilala. Parang, ano, parang heart, hurt, parang naggawa sila ng, ano, nakuha sila ng, ano, ng model na, instead na, parang si heart evangelista, ibang, ano siya, ibang model siya. Tapos yung signature, instead, instead na heart evangelista, hurt yung nakasulat. And then yung hmm. nakasulat, pumili kayo para next time, may model na. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Yung billboard. <laughs> Y- yung yung the way yung brand tone nila at brand voice mm-hmm. uh, iniba nila eh kasi usually pag di ba pag big brands formal yan so yun yung yeah. yun yung depende rin sa industry tsaka depende rin sa binebenta kasi nga naman kapag plastic alam mo yung uh, ganun di ba <laughs> so i think yun yung kaya yun yung naging reason nila so yun um lahat ng mga sinabi niyo good great examples and i think di ba iba rin sa personality Depende rin. Yeah. So, yun yung personality nyo, kaya niya siya we na watch out. Yeah. Iba-iba tayo ng personality. But those yes. are great examples. Um, after all, yung engagement post naman, it's really not a one size fits all. Diba? Yeah. Iba-iba pa rin talaga per brand. Per brand voice, iba-iba. And that's what's fun. <laughs> that's, hmm. it's, uh, for us, I think, for us, it's fun kasi we get to experiment and to learn more. And you get to influence. Like, I don't follow Danes, but nung sinabi mo, oh, okay, it's something that I will check out. Kasi <laughs> na-influence, ah, parang okay, maganda siya. Yun yung power din ng uh, engaging na post. Hindi mo siya, di man siya pinafollow ng mga tao, pero pag sinare mo, because they follow you, friends kayo sa Facebook or sa ibang platforms, mag- magiging curious sila na, oh, ano yung dilalike niya? Ano yung kinocomment niya? Tapos, yun. Yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect example of an engagement post. Go and check Dane's Facebook page na. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're on that part of the show where we give key takeaways or some tips for all the social media managers as well, uh, all over the Philippines, all over the region, you know, who are doing the same thing as we are. So, what are the tips for social media marketers on creating content that we should ad- give advice to? Ano yung mga advice natin if ever gagawa sila ng mga engagement posts? Sige, let's start with our very special guest, May. Okay. For me, um, you have to, putulad ng pinag-uusapan natin kanina, be consistent with your brand voice, with your branding. Of course, you have to be consistent with the with how you uh, how you put on your colors kasi that's what's uh, gonna retain sa ano sa audience natin and at the same time put your heart into it into into making the engagement post you have to put in uh, put yourself in the position we're in if if i was the audience is this gonna be um engaging for me am i gonna am i gonna comment or am i gonna react on this and Yeah, and always, always um, before you post something or before you um, before you think of an idea on what engagement post uh, to put on for your brand, you have to think of yourself first as an audience and uh, be consistent as possible. Hindi yung um, ngayon it's viral. You're gonna engage with them as much as possible, even. Um, even small posts, na may small likings, small comments, you you engage with the people still. 
just a simple recognition for them. And I think it's going to make people buy simple recognition to the ba that you're that they're commenting and then uh and then you're going to respond as a brand. I think people buy those things. Oh, may kilig kasi sa tao if napansin sila ng brand or if they mm-hmm. reply. No? Minsan na surprise pa sila. Wow, nag reply sila sa akin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. How about you, Scars? Key takeaways. Oo, na sabi na magaganda yung mga key takeaways ni May. Uh, go back to your core. Uh, sino ka ba as a brand? Sino ka ba as a business? Because if kung nag-work sa iba, it might not work for you. So, kilalanin mo sino yung audience mo. Mm-hmm. And you will know that as you, kung bago lang yung isang page, you will know that as you test. Yung test, experiment, what works. And if, na like with the Metro Clark Guide, um, we've, we've done a lot of posts and hindi namin makuha-kuha yung kiliti. And now, because of the, a lot of experiments, lahat ng topics tinry na namin and yung nakakapag-viral pala ang kapampangan. Na, imagine... Um, hindi namin alam yon, hindi namin, hindi namin may isip yon at first na yun, go back to your core. We, it's Metro Clark Guide, it's ka, it's Kabalen, it's Kapampangan, it's Pampanga, and yun yun yung nagkaroon ng uh, effect sa mga tao. So yun yung number one. Uh, hindi hindi pa ding kung ano yung nagwork dayahin mo lang, kasi baka magwork no. Iba yung audience mo. So yun yung yun kailangan alamin and pag-aralan sino yung mga followers mo. And from that point, no, mag-flourish din yan. Lalo na ko organic. Hindi naman mid, ano yan eh, overnight yung success. So it's a lot of work lalo kung organic. And uh, investment din. Yun. Mag-invest talaga sa being consistent. Alright. Thank you, Carissa and Carissa. Now for <laughs> my day, I just have a few words lang na no? First, keep it simple and relevant. Keep it easy because no one likes a difficult task. So kung ipapalike mo lang yan, palike mo lang yan. Wag mo nang kung ano-ano pang instructions yung papagawa mo sa kanila. And keep it innovative. Kasi kung gaya-gaya ka lang, okay, what else yung special sa'yo, di ba? People will always look for something different. Kasi kung pare-pareho lang yan na lumalabas sa feed nila, okay, nakaka-umay na, I will log off and transfer to another platform para tumingin ng mga bagong bagay. Hindi ba? And lastly, of course, measure, tweak, revise. Measure, is it working? Ilang tao na yung nakakita? Ilang tao na yung nag-comment? And then, tweak mo to make it more engaging. And kung hindi nag-work, change it. So, doon ka mag-revise. Okay, what part of the content should be changed? What part of the image should be revised? Yung mga ganun. So, simple measuring, tweaking, and revising will do good for you. Agree? Mm-hmm. Agree. Agree. Yeah, measure, tweak, and revise. True. Remember that. <laughs> I word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, on the same, pala, let's, ano, let's not forget na um, the brands uh, should not just, I don't know, you should not just go with, with go with the trend. Um, social media managers, digital marketers should also not forget to think outside of the box, to be oh, more creative as much as possible. Oh, kasi beka, someday, ikaw yung mag-start ng trend. You won't know mm-hmm. it. Hindi ba? So, yeah. There, there are lots of possibilities. And I guess that's it for the entire topic natin. Now, it's time for the fast talk. Are you ready yeah. now? <laughs> fast talk. <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, it's just a big set of talk. Ready? Okay. Alright. Spaghetti or palabok? Palabok. Beach or staycation? I'm sorry. What is that? The beach, the ocean, or staycation? Um, beach. All right. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. TikTok or Snapchat? TikTok. Adobo or sinigang? Adobo. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Books or movies? Books. Sing or dance? Dance. <laughs> I dance. saw you dance, girl. I know you're a good dancer. No. All right. <laughs> And for my last one, what is your biggest aspiration in life? My biggest aspiration in life is uh, to become um, a woman of an empire. So wow. I want to become a girl, a girl leader, a girl 
girl boss. I wouldn't say boss, but you know, I want to create an empire. Who knows? The second um, tallest building in this Thailand. Satin pala. <laughs> wow! I'm looking yeah. forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I'll work yes. hard for it. Yeah. Who saw for that? All right. And that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for being with us, May. It's very, Thank it's you so been much. Great pleasure. To oh, have it's you a privilege here. to be here. Thank you so much, Marketing Curse Podcast. All right. Thank you. And Thank you, everyone, and to our viewers and listeners. Thank you for being with us today. Don't forget to tag a friend and subscribe to Marketing Curse Podcast where podcasts are available. If you like this episode, share it with a friend or simply follow our official Facebook page at Marketing Curse Podcast. Keep that curiosity going. My name is Jimar Merino. And I'm Carissa Cole. And with our special guest, Clarissa May Isidro, thank you for listening. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.